Twitter. Yeah. yeah, and that's where I that's that's where I discovered contemporary dance, and from there, bit by bit, the right people came that's along. That's why the marriage is so unique, you know. <coughs> Uh, the form of you do right now, yeah. and, and 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 from Kathak and Kathak. contemporary, the marriage is absolutely breathtaking. Oh, I'm I'm very lucky because the body, um, my teachers were not very happy. Mm. You know, my Kathak teacher said, uh, "This is not uh, pure." <laughs> exactly. Um, because mm. I was doing contemporary in my body, I was I had Kathak in my body, I had Michael Jackson, I had hip hop, I had. And um, my uh, uh, a contemporary teacher said, this is not pure Graham, or this is not pure release, <laughs> or the style, it's not pure. That's pure Akram for you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well my body got confused. Mm -hmm. And so I always call the language that we investigate is not um, fusion. Mm. I call it, the language is called confusion. Yes. Because it's, it's very much our background. Do you feel the same way about your identity? Um, you know, the reason I do art is because I run away from my, my identity. I've run away, and it's only because of Dish, mm -hmm. uh, the decision to make Dish, where I returned back to my identity. And it must be a huge decision for you. Yes, it was. I mm -hmm. think it was very, I, did, I had a very f lovely um, childhood. Mm -hmm. I was very lucky, very fortunate. The community were lovely. But there was a time where I was very frustrated because there was no infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There was no... S um, infrastructure for for uh, a boy, Bangladeshi boy, to be a dancer. Mm. Where can he go with that? I don't want to perform in Bangladeshi uh, uh, events where people are drinking uh, 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 tea and talking and 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 there's chaos happening and you're just oh yeah just go on. I don't want, I didn't want to be that. I don't. And so in a sense, I didn't want to be Bangladeshi. I wanted to be universal. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be beyond. Um, just representing Bangladesh or British. I don't even want to be. Br I want to. I want to represent the art, mm -hmm. and I want to represent it on a global scale. Yes, and that's always been my dream. Um, I wanted to touch everyone, did, did, and so in a way, art was my um, savior mm -hmm. because through art, I felt it transcended politics, it transcended yes. um, it, identity, it, tra it transcended religion. In some, it, it had no definite. You can, you know, and that's why I'm such a. You know, I, I can understand why my mum. Um, respects hugely Rabindranath Tagore mm -hmm. because through through his art, he transcends in in um, all different kind of boxes. Yes, yeah. And he does it on a you know grand scale, mm. uh, on a scale where you know I would say he's equivalent to if he is the philosopher, the poet. Mm -hmm. You know, Einstein is the scientist. They're equivalent. Absolutely. They're both uh, Absolutely. geniuses. Absolutely. In Absolutely. that respect, and so they transcend time and space, and um, either poetically or through or through, through science. science. And for me, uh, art allowed that space mm -hmm. for me. And so I, I ran away from my identity. There were times where I was I I learned so much mm -hmm. from being um, in the Bangladeshi community. But there was a time where I felt there was a time where the Indian community adopted me mm -hmm. because I felt they respected what I was doing. Mm -hmm. They respected art. They didn't mm. want me to do a Bollywood number. No. They respect mm. art to the core of it. And there was an infrastructure there. There was, And when I say infrastructure, I mean money. They put exactly. money into art. Yeah. Because in the end, you need money. Mm. You do need money to have... How do universities work? They operate the, because they, they have money. Mm. It's not just a, a dream. You have to have the financial backing to be able to create a, a system or an or a enterprise. Not enterprise, but a kind of... Uh, um, place where people can come and study. It all costs money. You need to pay for teachers, you need to pay for buildings. So in a sense, um, the Indian people, Indian community adopted me and then eventually when I did Peter Brook at the age of 14, um, wow. it, it became more of an, <coughs> it became more international in a sense. And so the fact that I was Bangladeshi or British didn't come up so much. Hmm. Um, uh, I, I yeah. would like to. Um, yeah. Shukla uh, TV you, you feel f you feel free to call in. Um, Except my father and Sohini. And Sohini. Um, I want to know that um, what makes you come back to the, to to your. To, to you know Desh um, and Arikti Kotha and you you Desh won uh, Olivier Award yeah which is yeah. which is brilliant which is oh my God is is the most prestigious award it, we were very 
my producer Farooq Chaudhry, who yes. is, um, you know, we're second in command, or we're we're equal in many ways. You know, he's my yeah. producer. We were very close. Um, together, we went up on stage, and we felt really um, very happy that we won the award. And it's a special special moment for us from uh, uh, as as Bangladeshi because yeah. it's it's there. She you, you were absolutely yeah. representing Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because you you. As I said, I was running away. Yes. But I think that I always say there. When it's like a spring, you know. Yeah. You c you have to <laughs> come back. Yeah. <laughs> or, with a force. Or you go in a circle. Mm. You can't really escape who mm. you are. And so I always say when people ask me about the concept of time, yeah. I say there are two types of time. One is linear, which is Westernized, Christianized, masculine mm -hmm. clock time. Mm -hmm. This this clock time was invented in the West, and it was it's a Westernized concept. It was about money. It was about controlling people. Yes. Industrial revolution. So the other type of time is a, a circular time, which mm -hmm. is a spiral time. Mm -hmm. But you come back, but you don't come back to the same place. But you're still kind of coming back to the same place. But you're slightly in a different space because it goes upwards. Mm -hmm. So it's a more spiritual time. It's a nature time. It's life and death time. It's uh, it's a, a, a ritualistic time. And so in a sense, for me, the ritualistic time was very important. Mm -hmm. So in a, I was running away, but I needed that spiritual time in order to come back to myself to take some distance. And then when you know, you you are part of the process, a huge part of the process. Of course, of I, I'm. Uh, I feel so honored to be involved. No, we were very lucky. In, in you're Desh. very kind, but we were very lucky to have you because, you, you know, the whole uh, working with Karthik and Iyer, who's the writer. But yes. without you, the piece would have taken a very different direction, and we didn't have the resource. Thank you we so didn't have much. the knowledge to do that. So it was. We're very grateful. <laughs> no. The whole team is very grateful to have you. Oh, thank um, you. And you were so generous with us. <laughs> really, with Daesh. And so it's not just our award, it's your award. Of course, of course. So I, I, I share, share uh, you know, everything <laughs> that concerns Daesh, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, and also, uh, you, you, you're, you're saying that you, you were not close to, to your identity. Mm. But when I first saw um, Zero Degrees, yes, you were distant, but it was about identity. Yeah. Yes, it was. But it was a different kind of identity. We have many identities as human beings. Mm -hmm. I have an identity in front of my parents. Mm -hmm. And you know There's a call. Can I take Yes, yes, sure. Call? Hello, sure. Shubhu Shandha. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hello. Ji bolun? Uh me uh to Shubhu Shate Kotha will Satchi. Bolchen. Apni studio the Bolchen. Shubhu uh Shubhu Dashok uh Akram Khan. Ji bolun. Thank you so much for calling in. You can have a lot of my aunties. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Aunties that I haven't <laughs> met for a long time. <laughs> because they share your, uh, you know, I'm sure they're immensely proud of you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel very, very lucky. Very, very proud of you. Very yes. lucky. It's a very privileged position to be in. Um, There's another call. I yes, go. Go for it. Hello, Shubhashandha. Hello. 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 Could I speak? Could I uh, talk to Akram and Lisa? Ji. Uh, okay. Hello. You're co yeah, you're talking to Akram Khan. Apni television a volume ta kindly ek ek tu komiye dhan ta hole kotha bolte shubhe dha hobe. Hello. Ji bolun. Uh, Lisa. Ji. Can you hear me? Runi aunty. I thought I might as well <laughs> aunty line may, might as well continue. Thank you aunty. Yeah. <laughs> aunty yeah. Basically, I wanted to ask a question. Um, Akram, you've been performing all over the world, Japan yeah. and uh, USA and Britain and wherever. Do you find any difference in your the response from the audience? I mean, is there something you would feel that Japan has responded in a certain way, or there's more of a response there, or say USA or Britain? Is there is that feeling? Do you get that feeling when you end the performance? 
I do. Um, but it depends what I'm doing. I think um, if the piece is um, if the piece is universal, then the response is generally the same. If the piece is very specific about a particular culture, or then the response is different. I mean, in Japan, I remember when I did uh, the Mahabharat with Peter mm -hmm. Brook. Um, the Japanese audience were l not laughing at the time where we usually expected a laugh. Mm -hmm. okay. And they were not crying at the time that we usually expected where uh, one yeah. would cry. Yeah. They were laughing at the times where somebody <laughs> would cry, and they were crying at the time somebody <laughs> would laugh. So in Japan, 